Hey folks, this is Jake Davis with an On The Fly review for you, and today I'm talking about Extraction 2, released, shit, was it in May? At least a few weeks back, uh, this Netflix film, it's a sequel to the 2020 film, one of the few good things that happened during the pandemic, uh, uh, this film is directed by Sam Hargrave, who directed the previous film, it's written by Joe Russo, who wrote the previous film, um, it stars Chris Hemsworth. Olga Karolinko and Idris Elba. The whole setup here is Chris Hemsworth plays Tyler Rake. And if you saw the first movie, you're probably like me. How is there a sequel? I mean, he, he died. He definitely dies at, in the first movie. I guess they didn't expect people to really like that movie and, and want another one. So, granted, instead of just ignoring or retconning, a big part of this film is about... Hemsworth's character finding a perfect purpose for his, you know, his second chance at life here. Um, as you know, he plays Tyler Rake, who's a Romano. Tyler Rake, an Australian, former Australian black ops uh, soldier, now turned mercenary. Uh, and this film turns out his his ex wife's sister and her kids are being held prisoner in a prison by her abusive husband who is a major fucking Georgian uh, uh, crime boss uh, you know pretty much forcing his family to serve his prison sentence with him because he's just a real piece of shit Hemsworth's mission is to get in there and get them out uh, the wife and the two kids and the whole movie is all the ass he has to kick to be able to accomplish this. It is a thrilling, exhilarating motion picture with some brutal violence and an excellent performance from Chris Hemsworth. It is really great to see him play this more somber and human, stoic, uh, manly uh, action hero. Just all these films. Ever since Ghostbusters, he's been just a bimbo in movies. Um, and I like Chris Hemsworth, but, you know, let's you know, just... You, you're a big, strong, manly dude. Pay a, play a big, manly dude. You know, enough of the... Enough of fucking Thor. Uh, they, they, they've ruined Thor in those movies, by the way. I felt they, they ruined Thor with Endgame, personally. Uh, I love this movie. I thought this was an excellent movie. This was the action movie. I kind of been frothing for all year. Sisu was fucking great, but Sisu was also like, you know, had a sense of artsiness to it, the kind of truly visual motion picture. It is a movie that fucking Mel Gibson would love. <laughs> Brutal violence, no dialogue, very little character development, just show me the brutality. <laughs> I had a lot, a lot of fun with this movie, and uh, I got to highly recommend it. Five stars. I know a lot of people liked uh, RRR last year. I did not at all, even a little. Uh, <clears throat> but if that kind of crazy, super, stupid action and that kind of movie was great. Dude, this stuff is totally more along my lines. Kim, Kimsworth. What are you doing, Daddy? Shooting a video. Turn that light off. It's too bright. I don't need the light. I smell the day. Turn the light off. Chris Hemsworth beating the shit out of guys using, like, barbells. I said that. Beats a rapist to death with a flaming fist. That's that's so awesome. (laughs) Love this movie. I'm giving it five stars. Rake is easily a character I could have seen Stallone playing 40 years ago. Or even, dare I say, John Wayne playing back during the 1950s. This is a great movie action hero. Great action movie. And goddammit, I'm already stoked for Extraction 3. Give it to me. I'm Jake Davis. I'll catch you on the fly.